Aluminum recycling process begins with sorting and separating aluminum from other materials. The aluminum scrap is first shredded and then separated from other materials such as iron, plastics, and other non-metallic materials. Using various techniques including magnetic separation, air classification, and eddy current separation. The sorted aluminum is then melted down in a furnace. The furnace can be a reverberatory furnace, a rotary furnace, or an electric arc furnace. The type of furnace used depends on the type and quality of the aluminum scrap. Once the aluminum has been melted down, impurities such as paint, oil, and other non-metallic materials are removed. This is typically done through a process called flexing which involves the addition of chemicals that react with the impurities to form a slag. That can be removed from the surface of the molten aluminum. The purified aluminum is then alloyed with other metals, such as magnesium, copper, and silicon, to improve its strength and other properties. This is done by adding the alloying agents to the molten aluminum and stirring the mixture, until the alloying agents are fully dissolved. Once the aluminum has been alloyed, it is poured into molds to create ingots or other shapes. The molds can be made of steel, graphite, or other materials, depending on the desired shape and size of the final product. The aluminum ingots are then processed further to produce sheets, plates, and other forms, depending on the intended use. This is done through rolling, extrusion, or other forming processes.
Finally, the finished aluminum products are cleaned, polished, and packaged for shipment to customers. Throughout the aluminum recycling process, various automated technologies can be used to increase efficiency and reduce costs, including sensors, robots, and advanced control systems that monitor and adjust the various stages of the process. Collection and sorting. The first step in the metal recycling process is to collect and sort the metal scraps. From various sources, the collected metals are then sorted according to their type and composition. Once the metals are sorted, they are then shredded or cut into smaller pieces. This helps to reduce the size of the metal scraps and prepare them for the next stage of the recycling process. The shredded metal pieces are then melted in a furnace. The temperature of the furnace is typically between 1,500 C to 2,000 C. This process helps to transform the metal scraps into molten metal. After the metal has been melted, it is then purified to remove impurities such as slag, dirt, and other non-metallic materials. This process is important as it ensures that the final product is of high quality. Once the metal has been purified, it is then solidified into a new form, such as bars, sheets, or other shapes. These new forms of metal can then be used to make new products. Shipping and Distribution 
The final step in the metal recycling process is to ship the new metal products to manufacturers and other customers who will use them to create new products.